Anthony Garris, Anthony Delucia. Yep, that's right. We're here at Legacy Sneaker Store in NYC. We're going to take you guys with us as Max looks to add some heat to his collection. You ready? Let's go. So Max, it's been a wild ride for you this year. Tell me, what's it been like? It's been incredible. I mean, you go from being a high school kid, studying in school, playing two sports, to being engaged, playing professional baseball. Like, it is, it's a full new world that like, I just can't wait to attack for the next you know, 10, 15 years, whatever it may be. So tell me, what first got you into sneakers? There wasn't really like a one day I woke up and just like loved it. It's just like one of those things like over time, fashion kind of became like my, my, my vice. Sure. So obviously shoes comes with that. Um, I have a buddy who resells and he's like, the, he's like a big time reseller. Um, he actually hooked me up with my first pair of like dunks. And ever since then, it's just like, it seemed like every single month, they just like multiply and multiply. First you get like two boxes of shoes, then three, then four and so on. Absolutely. It's uh, a risky habit, man. Yeah, Once you no start, kidding. you become an addict. No it's kidding. crazy. You have anything in the shelf here? I have the Dior's, I have the Dior Lowe's. The Lowe's? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome, man. So How often do you break those out? Literally, like, maybe once a year. Yeah? Like, they're 100 What would you wear them for? What's an, uh, an occasion you would wear those for? I almost wore them for the draft. That would have been... That you been wore uh, Dunk Lowe's, yeah, right? Yeah, you would see Dunk. The master suit. Um, but I wore them for my Gatorade Male Athlete of the Year Award ceremony, so... That sounds that appropriate. Was, yeah, that was my good once a year wear. Are there any other pairs in your collection that you're a big fan of? Uh, the, in terms of Yeezys, the Clays I've had for a long time. Um, I actually might have to get a new pair of Clays because I've had them for pretty much ever since they dropped. I got them right as they dropped. Um, but I, like, Wore them I out. really do love Yeezys. They're just, they're calm, they're simple, they're comfortable. Absolutely, no, super versatile. I mean, you could wear those with a pair of jeans, pair of sweatpants, exactly. whatever you're doing, running errands, going yep. out to dinner. They go with everything, yep. it's awesome. What year are those from? I know they've dropped a hundred times. Jeez, these are the V2s, 350s, so they're, what, 2019, 2020? Okay, yeah. You're a big low top guy, huh? Big low top guy, I hate high tops. The only pair of high tops I have is Chicago Off-Whites and the UNC Off-White Jordan ones. Awesome. The only two pair of high tops. Those are good high tops to have. It's literally just because you have to have it. Like, ever, you gotta have yeah. it. So while we're sneaker shopping in New York City, do you have any sort of wish list or anything that you're looking to cop while you're here? Definitely been eyeing a pair of off-white Baby Maxes, the white pair. Because I have the black pair at home. Fire. So I, I want to get the matching set. Of course. Um, Comedy Garçon low Converse. Um, I've really gotten into like that kind of streetwear at the top, like the pants and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I want to kind of like match that up. Um, and then maybe another pair of UNC Dunks because mine are destroyed. Yeah, I got to keep so, another pair on ice yeah, ready to go. Yep, so those three. Oh, and then uh, Jackie Robinson Dunks. Jackie Robinson Those Dunks. are I've fire. I've to get those for a year. And are they hard to find? Yes, impossible. Really? Especially size 12, 12 and a half. Literally can't get them anywhere. I'm surprised because I... I I know that they sold out when they first came out, yeah. but I don't remember the hype being super crazy, and then out of nowhere, the price just doubled yeah, on them, exactly. completely That's shot the up. Thing. Like, there's just not a lot out there like, right now. Uh, on market, like the guy guys so happy. Crazy. But those are so dope, man. Yeah. I love the color scheme exactly. on them, It's just like the pattern. a staple of a baseball player. Like, you gotta have a pair of Jackie Robinson. Absolutely. So as you said, you're a huge Dunks guy. Are there any other Dunks that you would like to add to the collection that you don't already have? I don't even know off the top of my head. It's kind of just like looking and looking, please. I mean, there's hundreds of pairs here. It's like you can't go wrong. Like, I'll just buy the wall. You happen to have the Panda Dunks? I know everybody oh, and their yeah. mother's got yeah, those. Yeah, everybody's got Panda Dunks, dude. The OG Pandas are a classic and a staple oh, yeah. for sure. absolutely staple. You wear them a lot? I don't. No, God, no. They were my beaters for pretty much my entire junior year. Gotcha. So they are, they, they're just I didn't even realize Dunks have been hot that long. Yeah. That's yeah, like I three years. 2021. Wow. They got big again. And everybody started wearing them. It's crazy. Because they died out for a while, oh, but yeah. how many pairs of Dunks do you think you have in your collection? 20. Wow. Like actually, I think I think 20, 22. That's a crazy rotation. Yeah, and the, the thing is, I've seen a couple that I haven't seen before, which is kind of fun. These mints. Those kind of remind me of like the Air Mag, but they I have. Know, but I like a dunk. Yeah. They have that funky pattern on the back. Yeah. I lose track of the names of all the dunks. It's. Oh yeah. God. So I hard. Keep track of them. So obviously here surrounded by a bunch of different designer clothing. 
Of course, you're working with Baseball Lifestyle to design your collection. In addition to Baseball Lifestyle, are there any other specific luxury brands or designer brands that you're a big fan of? Oh yeah, I mean, I wear Essentials, like I am sponsored by Essentials. I wear a gallery, like I'm sponsored by a gallery. Like those two, I wear a ton of. Uh, I wear a lot of Comedy Dagger Song. Very nice. I um, wear a lot of, uh, I actually, I do wear a lot of Bape Tees. Okay. Uh, Bape Tees are fire. I'll get mine in that. And then you have like the printed camos and stuff? Oh, yeah. oh. yeah, I have literally one of every color. That's dope. Like, I have a baby blue, a dark blue, a pink, um, a red. Those are dope. A little yeah. more like color coordinated, exactly. not as random. Yep. So those are a lot easier to and wear and rock wear. with. Are there any athletes or friends that got you into fashion either on or off the field? Honestly, I think I, I was like, I think I started it, dude. Like yeah. that was my, that was like, it was just something I was always interested in as a kid, right? Like I was always into art, so that kind of just blended itself as I grew up. That's awesome. Um, I love to hear that. Yeah, dude, yeah. <laughs> so um, that's kind of what I got involved with. And cause I, I can't draw, I can't even draw a stick figure. So. The ability to like translate it into shoes, clothes, fashion, all that good stuff, jewelry, like I'm all in. Yeah, that's how you express yourself. Does that translate to kind of the equipment or the gear that you'll wear on the field? Oh yeah, that's why everything like, everything's like very like Miami Vice or like just vibrant color. Cause like to me, that's like, that's what I love. It's that's like, the color like, scheme. Flashy and good and you know, it's just like how I am. I feel like a lot of players in the big leagues, you know, like Jazz Chisholm has purple, uh, Ronald Acuna has yellow, and then yeah. you're gonna step on the scene and have the bright pink. No, yeah, for that's sure. kind of like your like, identity now. Yeah, and that's like I want to be like those are guys you know you look up to when it comes to like fashion stuff. And obviously, they're awesome players. Like, I mean, Acuna, yeah, top, you know, whatever. Sure. Players in the league, they're, they're incredible. Obviously, we got the off-white collection, the mischief boots, a bunch of different statues. Is there anything you have in your collection that is an untouchable that you would never wear? No. Everything's on the yeah, table. Everything's on the table, yeah. I, like, I was at the Dior's are the closest thing we get. Sure. But I think, like, the price tag speaks, speaks for that. Mm -hmm. like, that's the reason. That it doesn't really have anything to do with, like, you know, like, it, there's no, like, sentimental value or it's, like, a uh, limited time shoe. Like, it's just the fact that I don't want to ruin those shoes. Of I course. Guess. So. Yeah, something that's a little harder to obtain, you know, just in terms of you're not available. Exactly. Um, you know, obviously you want to take a little more care of those, but it's cool to hear that you're willing to wear everything that you have in your collection. I know a lot of guys, you know, they'll build basically a whole art wall of sneakers and then they don't touch anything. You know, it's kind of like a waste. Yep. But yeah, so those are the 97s, these are the 90s. Yeah, definitely get the black 90s and the white ones. Right? Oh, For sure. those are a grill right there. Yeah, those are I've been looking for those for probably two years. Wow. I've never seen this in person. Really? Do you mind when like a translucent shoe like that starts to age? Like, would you rather them look brand new or you don't really care? I, like, I kind of like if the off-white shoe starts looking more off-white. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I think, I think it's cool, so. All right, uh, so we've kind of walked the store. We've seen everything they have to offer. Now let's go see what you're gonna take home. No doubt, no doubt. Let's do it, let's go. Let's check what the account is real quick. <laughs> Think of the phone Nope, numbers. I'm only a V2 guy, or really? a 350, like I'm only a 350 guy. So you'll do like a V1? Yeah, I'll, I'll wear a V1, but okay. I literally only, I'm only a 350. What are we picking up? I don't know, I, mean, I actually have not seen these. These are fire. Fresh. These are clean. Max price for 25? 12. Does a price point ever sway you from buying a shoe or if you want it, you're getting it? If I want it, I'm getting it. That's awesome. I know that's a terrible thing to say, <laughs> but like, usually like I'm pretty good about making like non-spontaneous decisions for the most part. Like, if a shoe comes out being more than I expected, but I really like the shoe, I'm gonna you're pay it. it yeah. I'm gonna pay it. Need it. Thank you. I don't even know how much the shoe was. I, I forgot to look. I am gonna steal these. Let's see, Let's see these guys. So these belugas? Yeah. Have a size, um, 13. I can wear 13 Yeezys. Yep. That works for me. 
I heard you before you were talking about some sneakers that you had your eyes on. Yeah, okay, so um, off white Vapor Maxis, white. Carmen A. Garcon, Converse, Lowe's, uh, UNC Dunks. So, uh, unfortunately, I don't have the other two. I can get them for you, but I have the USC Dunk size 12. Okay, boom. I'm so, throwing those up already. For all you. right, all sweet. Right, yep. And then, um, what was the other one? Jackie, Jackie Robinson, Robinson Dunk. Yeah, we don't have that. I do. They're so hard yeah. to find, man. Nope. Remember, I guess Jackie Robinson Day came out. And just. Somebody got them. Yeah, dude. Somebody wore them on the field. It had to be something like that. Yeah. How old were you when you first got into sneakers? 14, 15. Okay. So sophomore year. I'm trying to think. So that was like right when the Nike Off-White collection yeah, first dropped. Yeah, that was right. Yeah. I was actually right when like Virgil dropped everything. Wow. The clothes, the shoes. Like that it was, is one hell of a yeah. time to get into sneakers. Yeah, man. no kidding. Do the 97s and black 90s. I remember going to SneakerCon, they were like $1,500. And then after what happened with Virgil, they went up to 10 grand. Yeah, dude. Like those Chicago off-whites, brother, like seven, seven grand. Crazy. It's just like, oh my God. Like I will never touch those shoes. Like th that'll probably be like my untouchable pair. Yeah. Fresh. Fresh. 12. Okay. Fresh. I don't know if you want to just browse here. You can also keep it. Yeah, it's good. Know, we have some more exclusive fast. stuff that we don't usually put out. I made the show. It's crazy. I had to check my own. He looks familiar. I think he's in a game. Yeah, bro. And then I looked you up and I was like, oh, it's crazy. The show is so fun, bro. Like, uh, the day I got drafted, they, like, immediately put us in the game, like, right after the yeah, draft ended. Back, yeah, it was back. So we literally, like, the night of the draft, we were just chilling in my house with, like, all my bros playing and playing with my own card. Online, like, three things. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah bro. Go out. I'm going to do those. The Black Phantom, Travis Scott. Black? Yeah. And so you did have, you said you did have the 97s? I bet. 12, 12 and a half for 13. On the, uh, let's go 12 and a half. Yeah. Yeah, so far we're cooking. Kith, Harris. And that's it. All right, Max, that was a ton of fun. Tell us what you got. Well, overall, I picked up seven pairs. Uh, I picked up three pair of Yeezys. I picked up a Kith Air Force Ones. I picked up the Travis Scott Phantoms, uh, the Air Max 97 Off-Whites, and then to top it off, the UNC Dunks. And then just wanted to give a shout out to Legacy Sneaker Boutique for the fire hospitality, as well as the insane selection. And on top of that, shout out to my boy Anthony for coming down and showing out. Stay tuned, more coming baseball lifestyle soon.